brief message from your friendly neighborhood editing Jordan. We tend to try to keep things pretty PG-13 around here, but this is an improv podcast. So who knows what we're going to say. Sometimes we throw in some swearing, some sexual content, and some violence. So as a general warning, viewer discretion is advised. Also to be noted, the opinions stated about a certain tabletop role-playing game are just that, our opinions. We love the game and we like talking about it. So any criticisms are really just all in good fun. That being said, wizards, please hire us. All right, with that out of the way, let's get on with the show. What a podcast is. There we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, I've been streaming. Assassin's Creed Origins is over. Ooh. Yeah. Um, hey. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is happening soon, which actually uh, my yeah, stream schedule is going to be different this week. You could air out your true opinion here on the podcast. <laughs> I sure can. I sure can. I don't Since think you... uh, the others listen to this, so... But first exactly, I need to you're know, safe. I need to know how you started watching Riverdale. Then you can talk about Assassin's Creed, but why Riverdale? <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to the Nat One Podcast, aka Nope, because nope, you're not gonna want to hear what we're about to have to say. I'm Pertusa. I'm Levi. And I'm Jordan. Well, uh, as you know, my philosophy for watching shows, I we've, ta- we've discussed several times, I don't like rewatching the same shows over and over again. Weirdo. So instead, anytime I finish a show, I'm like, what's another show people have talked about a lot? And uh, after Orange is the New Black, Riverdale came up and I was like, okay, let's talk okay. about Riverdale. The natural progression. Yeah. I've never and so I started talking about Riverdale. Riverdale. Explain to me within 10 seconds, Riverdale. No, but I will explain it in a longer time. Okay. Um, (laughs) (laughs) I just know bits and pieces that I learned from that. I did watch the full, like, the first two seasons, but then I dropped off because I couldn't. (laughs) So I watched the first season, and I didn't know anything about the reputation of Riverdale. Here's the basic plot. I'm trying to remember what the hook for season one even was. Oh, yeah, okay. It's just a murder. Yeah. Small town west coast um modern ish era modern enough era there's smartphones and there's been a murder of one of the high school stars and and now people are trying to get to the bottom of who did it who done it and along the way there's a lot of scandalous mysteries of why people are withholding information behind the real truth of this murder and as the season goes stuff gets unveiled and also there's a new kid in town that, that's the hook that's that's the gist <laughs> however what riverdale does is fails to deliver on all fronts <laughs> and that's what makes it great <laughs> the mystery can't be solved unless you are privy to information at the very end of season one in which it is just hand given to you which makes it a bad mystery the writing makes all the teenagers sound like 50-year-olds, mm, which is hilarious naturally. and bad. <laughs> um, the characters are also so... They get flanderized in a season. They have <laughs> one personality trait they ex- exhibit once, and that becomes their entire personality forever. It's I don't know. It's based off of the Archie comics. Oh, I didn't know that. That's that's what it is. It's Betty, Veronica, Archie, and Jughead are from an old comic from the 50s. You know, it's, it's not edgy. It's not supposed to be edgy. I saw a book the other day that said that. It was like Archie and Friends and it said Riverdale on it. And I was like, what? Yeah. It's, that explains it's just a lot. Like, yeah. Actually, whenever it was happening, I think SNL made a parody of like, if you did the same thing with the Peanuts characters that mm. they did with Riverdale, because it's the same equivalent. Mm. the the whole archie gang are like all teenagers in the 50s and 60s and they did they they hang out at the soda shop and that's their whole thing (laughs) but again though without having any knowledge going in about that it's a very bad show and at first i was very frustrated and upset at it but as i went on i was like oh wait this isn't supposed to be good and now i laugh at it Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. presumably the producers and actors are also doing, and if not, sorry, <laughs> but also is that the best you could do? Wait till you get to the musical episodes and the did. serial killer gene. 
<laughs> I am excited for the future. <laughs> uh, although I do have to say, my one thing that I won't let go is the name of the soda shop. Pops? What's the name of the no, oh, that's That's what they call it, shorthand. The actual name in the building is Chocolate Shop. But the way they choose to spell it is like, really? Why did my Come camera on. suddenly reset? <laughs> I don't know. That was weird. That was kind of strange to see. It felt like I was watching an episode of the Mandela Catalog. <laughs> I'm just gonna spell out how they spell it in our chat, and you can, you can see what's wrong with it. Yeah, I forgot about that. Ah, uh, <laughs> I Y K, Y K, Y K. <laughs> but like, why? <laughs> yeah, that's Riverdale. It is truly something. Sabrina is also. A time. Sabrina the Teenage Witch is a spinoff of Riverdale. Also based off of a comic that is well, I no, Sabrina was a TV show as well. And I know yeah. the TV show was a is a cult classic, but then the reboot is kinda it's weird. <laughs> There's a lot of reboot. Satanism. Yes. Oh, I watched more of Sabrina than I did of <sighs> Riverdale. And it's uh, yeah, she, I, she marries Satan at one point. And oh. they also do a crossover with Riverdale because it's in the same universe. No. Yes. The Dale verse. Yes. I like that. <laughs> also, F to the actor that voiced Dale from King of the Hill. You were a real one. Yeah. No. Yeah, that was like a week ago or two. Oh, right. no. I know. No more pocket sand. Sh -sh 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 <laughs> If you're watching an actually good show and you haven't watched that before, watch King of the Hill and most adult animated shows. They're I actually need to watch good. watch King of the Hill. Good yeah, writing. King, King of the Hill's pretty good show, yeah. Good pacing. Good characterization. Despite being animated, not flanderized. Oh. Bob's Burgers is another good one. Yeah. Bobby, open the door, the beast! <laughs> is in tight. I also highly recommend Bojack Horseman. I need to watch Bojack. I haven't watched that yet, and it's been on my list forever. But I never feel like I'm in the right mindset to start it, because I feel like you have to, like... Yeah. <laughs> mm, I don't know. I've heard it gets heavy, like really heavy. I mean, it does, but because the subject material is like how it affects or how the the mental state of people in Hollywood, I couldn't possibly relate. Like I was, I was looking I at it and I was that. like, oh man, that's tragic. And I, I empathize or help me. I, I have a psychology degree. I mm -hmm. empathize with them. I cannot sympathize with them. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Taryn, why do you still have the transcript on? <laughs> Because he's having fun um, watching us in Korean. You can um, turn it off yourself. He turned it on himself. Oh. I forgot how to... Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's going on in my corner of the world. Then we'll get back to Assassin's Creed because I've been talking probably for like the first 10 minutes of this episode. Levi, what are you doing? I don't want to talk anymore. What have I been doing? Well, I just finished on stream today as of recording, not of as when this comes out. Um, pseudo regalia, a fun little, I guess that would be called an indie game. And I, I think the developer is like a really small developer. Um, a fun little Metroidvania, which, which I picked up a few weeks ago. And I think I did like three streams on it. It was either three or four. I couldn't remember. Um, but yeah, it was fun. It had really good movement. The puzzles were fun. Uh, I, I gave a little review at the end of the stream. I talked about it. I thought it was like an eight out of 10. The only thing I had was I thought the combat could have been a little bit better because it was just, it, was, it wasn't very intuitive, but that that goes with the with the genre. Um, but yeah, no, I, I had a good time with that. Finished that today. It was a fun little thing. Um, I I'm back at school. I <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, for any for any adamant viewers who probably noticed that since my webcam on stream has changed its location, I'm no longer in my little den that I used to be in. I'm back in a dang dorm room. Um, and yeah, that's uh, that's that's how living up here has been going for me. I mean, I don't. I have been. I will say. I was gonna say I haven't really been watching shows, but that's a lie. I've, I've been watching one show, but it's an anime. Can we can we one talk piece. about it? Not One Piece. <laughs> oh, you're gonna finish it before the Netflix show comes out, right? No. <laughs> uh, I I don't think I'm ever gonna watch One Piece. I don't know where you got this impression of me. Anyways, uh. <laughs> I've been watching 
uh, Moshiko Tensai, which I think is one of the best fantasy anime ever. In fact, I think it is is the best fantasy anime ever. Uh, it's really good. You should you should go you should go watch it. Although, don't go in blind. If you're someone who's never heard of that and you're watching the podcast right now, look it up beforehand and see if you feel comfortable watching it because it's it has a lot of really heavy themes in it. Um, words that I can't say because YouTube won't like it if I say them in it and but that's why i like it so much and that's why so many other people like it so much is because it's real and it's like whoa and also it's really cool there's a whole fleshed out world and setting and it makes my dm brain it scratches that part of my dm brain because there's languages that the the vas actually speak completely fake made up fantasy languages in the anime um, that they made up for the show because obviously it was a light novel and uh, manga before this. So like no one had to speak those languages. They were just written down. Mm. Um, so they just, they just made up like two or three different fantasy languages for this show that people have spoken, uh, which is really cool. Uh, and it's really well animated. It's super well animated. Funnily enough, the studio that animated it has done two shows because the studio was made for Moshiko Tensai when they were like, oh, we're going to make it an anime. The other show they have done is a little a little ditty called Onimai. Uh, go watch Onimai completely blind if you don't Oni know what Onimai is. Go watch that. Do not look up what it's about. Just go into it. O-N-I-M-A-I. Go watch it. It's on Crunchyroll. I'm going to go out on a limb and say maybe don't listen do it. to that. You will don't not regret it. Do that. I certainly didn't. Um, watch it alone. Watch it alone. Watch it Makes alone it in your room with the lights turned off. I'm concerned. Squidgy. Squidgy is right. Um, 10 likes on the video and we'll make Jordan do it. Yeah. No. Good mm-hmm. luck. I'm in a different state. 10 likes that on the video and we will strike. We will refuse to record another podcast episode until Jordan watches it. Uh, good. Then we're getting all of Jordan's scary stories instead of the podcast every <laughs> no, Tuesday. Uh, so, the, every your Wednesday. scary story is going to be me breaking down the door with a camera and Onimai on the laptop. <laughs> That's going to be your You're scary story. <laughs> with Onimai. <laughs> me learning how to hack monitors from across the country so that I can just force every monitor me to be playing Onimai at all times, specifically <laughs> so that Jordan is forced go... to watch it. I will go into debt. I will get a plane ticket and a cheap laptop, go into debt, and go to Florida. One-way ticket. Bet. We're not going to see Pertus it for like a week. (laughs) TJ's going to be like, I have no idea where he is. I think he's just like been doing like long shifts. I'm an adult. Listen, it's crazy. People don't really think about it. You can just do that at any time. (laughs) Just pack up and leave. Yeah. Some people do do that. Not a lot. Some people do. It's really easy, believe it or not. But anyway. Uh, but Jordan, yeah. Do you have more to add on that, on, on Mushoku Tensei? Because I know I don't. I... <laughs> you could watch Mushoku Tensei, Jordan. It's actually really good. And I would not ironically recommend it to <laughs> anyone because uh, it's a good show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but Onima is, is it, it's a piece. Uh, as, as, piece is it Dan Giesling or is it... Uh, Northern line that says you peace. That's uh, <laughs> it was a Dan Giesling ism that spread to like his whole circle. So Northern line also says it, and okay. Indie Mouse sometimes. Okay, so as as Dan Giesling would say, it is a piece. <laughs> um, peace. But yeah, that's that's what I've been doing. I've been thinking, not nothing. I need to. I also need. I need to catch up on Demon Slayer. I haven't caught up on Demon Slayer. Um, I am also probably gonna try to do my hero at some point. Uh, but you know, that one's like been a while since I watched that. So there's a lot I got to get through there. Um, and other than that season on that one, yeah, other than that, I mean, I'm not, I don't watch a lot of human shows. I don't watch a lot of shows that have people in them anymore. It's mostly, it's mostly animated stuff. I was thinking about watching Ahsoka, but Ooh, I need to of, watch that. I heard a lot of people good. are, a lot of people are saying it's, it's not bad. It's just mid. And so I'm like, mm-hmm. eh. Do I want to spend time watching a show if I'm going to be like, yeah, it was like a six out of ten. <laughs> um, yeah, it kind of it used to be that like when a, like when Disney Plus was launching and all this stuff, it was like, oh my gosh, new Disney Plus original show. But like now, it's like, oh, 
It's just like a new Netflix show, right? It's like kind of yeah. You might watch it. It's really up to your own interest now. It's not yeah. like yeah, you have to watch it. It's like maybe <laughs> there were a couple things that I saw in the trailer that were like, oh, that's cool because it's all based on old like Heir to the Empire book. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my gosh, I need that sound bite. Jordan's <laughs> <laughs> isolate uh, and send me that the the Heir to gotcha. the Empire books from before Disney owned Star Wars, which you know is also kind of just like. Eh. Um, oh, don't let J.S. Willis hear you say that. But Heir to the Empire was like probably some of the best Star Wars outside of actually the movies. Uh, so it's cool. It's good stuff. But also at the same time, then there's me over here being like, but are they just nostalgia baiting me? Are they just <laughs> nostalgia baiting me? Probably. Probably. They wouldn't do that. Disney is known for not nostalgia baiting people, guys. I don't think what? anyone has done that, honestly. No, no one that why what what does that mean? What is that term? What? Honestly, I think the worst about it is Japan because they make anime about manga that's like old. Like JoJo <laughs> came out in the eighties and they made an anime in two thousand tens. Quit nostalgia baiting me, Japan. Yeah, seriously. What the heck? Um uh, <laughs> Um I probably will end up watching Ahsoka though, but I will probably be waiting until it all comes out so I can just watch it. Yeah. What's going on in the media world of you, Jordan? What are you watching or playing or doing? <laughs> well, for the last week, I've had COVID. So I've watched a <laughs> lot of movies. <laughs> what do we got? Um, all right. So what all did I watch? I watched, I rewatched Blues Brothers. And take your pick. There's a there's a lot of stuff. I watched the Blues Brothers, Down with Love, Mirror Mirror, both Suicide Squads. Um I'm blanking. I had a whole, I kept track of everything that I watched, but my brain is still liquid from the COVID. So, yeah. <laughs> you watched both Suicide Squads? I did, back to back. I watched the better one first. And then I was like, oh, that one's fun. The other one can't be that bad. And then I remembered. <laughs> I was going to say, you willingly watched the 2017 one again? <laughs> I, I, I take no responsibility for my actions i was incredibly ill <laughs> i think i figured out what made you ill <laughs> oh that was the i watched uh death becomes her zoom followed by sky high because that seems like the natural progression of things steel magnolias father of the bride ferris bueller's day off so yeah i watched all kinds of stuff um fun fact I had to look it up because in the Blues Brothers, there are a metric fuck ton of cop cars that get absolutely wrecked throughout the film. Apparently, it is 104 cars that were used on the shooting of Blues Brothers. I really want to know how much money they spent on cars because there are so many points during that movie that are just massive piles of cars crashing into each other. I'm also rewatching Wednesday. <laughs> uh-huh. Have you watched Peacemaker? I have not. I need to watch. I should have watched that instead of the other Suicide Squad movie, honestly. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> that's no, really I was good. not smart enough to do that. But also, I was it looks like hmm? uh, I found the info. They spent $120 million on cars. Amazing. Sure. As the, movie, cars. the movie cars. Oh. Oh, that's that's not what. Okay, thanks. <laughs> That's a lot of yeah, I, I need to watch Peacemaker um, because I heard it's really good. I just it haven't is. watched it yet because I'm really bad at watching new things. If nothing else, you need to watch the intro title sequence. It's very funny. And I good. have seen the intro title yeah. sequence. That's the one part that I have seen. <laughs> it's also, well, it's also Over the Garden Wall season too. So that's, I mm -hmm. have not finished that, but I, I need to finish my yearly rewatch before HBO takes it off of the streaming service. Mm. All right, go watch Over the Garden Wall because it's fantastic and very spooky and autumnal and amazing. It's mm -hmm. basically like watching Pumpkin Spice. I have conflicted feelings about Pumpkin Spice. <laughs> I love Pumpkin Spice. <laughs> I like it. It's but okay. I'm a contrarian and I don't like that so many other people like it. Uh, understandable. I just like pumpkin. Not even pumpkin <gasps> spice. I like pumpkin. I, I agree with what Taryn said, but. Yeah, thanks, Taryn. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, lots of one. movies. <laughs> also, watch Death Becomes Her if you want a good, like, spooky it going does? into Halloween thing. Yes. <laughs> I always knew movie. it. That Practical Magic and oh, I watched Hocus Pocus. That was the uh -huh. Hocus Pocus and Disenchanted. I, I that's all I did was sleep and watch movies. I'm not getting paid Man. this week, guys. <laughs> 
We need to do like a like a show and tell for movies or TV shows or something. Agreed. Like a book club, like like it's one of those ones where you have to do it or else the collection agency comes for you. That's just Do you school. remember? Uh-huh. You remember when we had that karate club? I and do. That, you saying do a show and tell <laughs> reminded me of when we did our anime show and tells in that. Oh, I know that was for the Japanese culture club. I'm stupid. <laughs> yes, but My I was brain. part of both. <laughs> yes, you were part of both and it was in the same room. Yes, we know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I, that's why I got confused. And I'm assuming much um, like the rest of our high school clubs it was the same people. Not the karate one cuz that oh, was really? when I was in like middle school. Yeah, I was in like elementary, I'm pretty sure. Interesting. That was the long time, time I ever met Pertusa. Same for Levi. I didn't think he was real. <laughs> but it's um, almost like a predestined thing because we met then and then not for years after yeah. we see each other. <laughs> They're, they're like all of my middle school career went by after that and I didn't see Pertuzza once. Mm-hmm. So like four years. Anyways, I was going to ask you, do you remember what anime I picked? Because I don't. No, sir. <laughs> Taryn, go. What anime did I pick? He wasn't Taren, there for the first one. Taryn's the bank of knowledge. He knows everything. Yeah, Taryn knows. We're giving him a <laughs> <laughs> This That's is just like when Taren. I was streaming earlier today. I would ask a question and Taryn would just say no No. in chat. (laughs) He would just say no. And then I would always, every time I would say, what do you mean no? Okay. And then he wouldn't answer. Okay. (laughs) Um, You you know what my first one was? My first anime selection back in when I was 16 or 17 years old? I Oh, you've told me this before, and I should remember it. I only did two because I was only there for two years. One of them was obvious. The other one might be less so, but I was a younger man. Technically not a man. I don't remember. Black Butler, final answer. (laughs) If you could see the face he just made, audience. Full offense intended. (laughs) That was one of the most devastated looks I've ever given. (laughs) Black Butler and Yuri on Ice. I don't dislike Yuri on Ice. <laughs> Yuri on Ice is really it. pretty. I don't you know why people have watched dump, Black dump Butler. <laughs> yes, I have a little bit. No, the one actually is actually more is more similar to Black Butler than you would imagine. The first one I picked was Dangan Rampa. Oh, oh, that's right. That's right. Bam, 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 ba, ding, bing, bing, ding. That's right. <laughs> My I first like one mysteries. Was... My first one was a normie one. Well, it's normie now because it's like the most popular anime ever. It was Attack on Titan. Mm. Solid, though. It was was when it was first coming out. It was when the English dub first came out. So it was airing on Toonami. So as a very young boy, I saw it on Toonami at night. And I was like, whoa, this is cool. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And then then I fell in. Then I, I, you can never leave now. You're in for (laughs) life. You're in for life. You're Um, on ice. Uh, you're in town. The second one, an I picked excellent was JoJo. Musical. I don't know why I look to my left because Jordan, you're on the right side of my screen, but like my computer screen Just is combobulate. to my left. Taryn's yeah. over there for me, so you were looking at Taryn. Taryn's down. He's underneath me. Taryn's have, underneath me. I have Pertuzit oh. next to me, and then Taryn's under me, and then Levi's next to Taryn. Uh huh. I gotta fix it now. Wait. <laughs> no, 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 no. We don't okay. need this again. No. Okay, wait. I got, I've got it in the Jordan oh. order now. I've got it in the Jordan okay. order. Uh-huh, I am correct. The Jordan cut. Just because I could only remember what she said because she said it most recently. <laughs> um. Now we can do the Brady Bunch thing and like look at each other. <laughs> <laughs> Me purposely looking up so that way I'm not looking at anyone. Quick, moving beneath me. Quick. No, 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 no. I'm looking down. I'm looking down. Okay. Uh, You're looking at Levi. Him. I didn't move him. He was no! still above me. <laughs> oh, but, uh, you know, the news, Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, let's get into this. I'm oh, ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Podcast audience, in case you haven't been paying attention or if you've, like, not been aware, we've been doing, on the Net One Play side of things, an Assassin's Creed challenge. Beat all the Assassin's Creed games by the end of 2023. Copyright by me. And who challenged um, you to this? Me. <laughs> uh, went well for the first bit. The plan was merely to play them to completion. I wasn't doing 100%. I was just getting them done. 
and I wanted, I knew I had a long time actually. Like I didn't think it would be that hard of a challenge really. So I was like, I'm going to space it out a little. So for Assassin's Creed two and four, I played them a lot. Like I did a lot of bonus stuff. And yet, and here we are. <laughs> So, recently we finished Assassin's Creed Origins on stream which means we now have Odyssey and Valhalla and that's it however the problem lies in that Assassin's Creed Mirage comes out in about a month Ooh. and I have to beat that one too mm, yes so I now have four weeks to beat two of the longest Assassin's Creed games ever made not because they're very long, but because they added RPG elements with leveling skills to where I can't do challenges unless I'm the right level. Yes. Get cracking, Buster. That's what happened to me. I cracked <laughs> the Buster whenever... Uh, <laughs> uh, last Tuesday, if you want to see a really funny thing, go to like the last five minutes of last Tuesday stream, which... Uh, the second to last Origins stream. Go watch that. Last five minutes. And you'll see... Me screaming at the computer and then abruptly ending stream and then that night spending six hours. No, that's a lie. It was like 13 hours playing Assassin's Creed Origins until six in the morning. That's what it was. Uh, so that way I would have enough levels to beat it all on Thursday, which I did. Congratulations. I'm concerned for your mental health. You'll be free eventually. The only thing causing it to decline is Assassin's Creed. <laughs> what are you going to do when you're done? Are you going to have, like, Stockholm Syndrome? No. He's going to start over from the beginning. Just go no. around again. I've said this before. This is going to be like the episode of King of the Hill, which is something I'm also watching right now, where Bobby gets caught smoking a cigarette. So to punish him, Hank makes him smoke an entire carton of cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> and then he never smokes again. <laughs> you played huh? all the Assassin's Creed, so you're never gonna touch it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh that's going to that. Amazing. What if, like, they release a game after Mirage, and everyone's like, "This is actually the best game that's ever come out ever." I don't care. Dang, <laughs> don't care at all. We'll just make Terran play it. What yeah. if they're like? unobjectively factually is the best game that's come out ever just because it's got the assassin's creed game ta uh, name tacked on it you're not gonna play it i will be way too busy playing Yu-Gi-Oh capsule coliseum on the ps2 hmm. what if that's what make... you're gonna stream after assassin's creed no <laughs> <laughs> what if they make a, an assassin's creed expansion for Yu-Gi-Oh? then i will instead be playing digimon <laughs> Me going to Ubisoft telling them they have to insert <laughs> Assassin's Creed into every franchise ever. It's already in Fortnite, which isn't a lie. Well, Fortnite, though, is like, that is actually what Fortnite is doing. Yeah. <laughs> They're just trying to get every IP ever into Fortnite their game. Fortnite is a lawless hellscape. Which, say no what hope. you want. Say what you want about, what can you say about Fortnite? Uh, say what Lost. you want about it's Fortnite. It's a lawless hellscape. I, I respect at least the fact that, like, they have so many different ips in their game that's one of the few things i respect mm. about fortnite i don't respect that they have so many because i don't think it's hard to get many i respect the ones that they have because some of the ones they have have never done one before why do they have <laughs> the witcher why they do the they have the witcher they have destiny 2 they have martin luther king jr yeah um let's see what are some other really obscure dragon well, ball I mean, naruto De yeah uh, dragon ball naruto my hero my hero. Um, they got Transformers is the one <laughs> right now. Ariana Grande. Yeah, Marvel, Ariana Grande. They have Thanos in yep. there. They have Marvel. Um, oh, isn't Nicki Minaj also? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Assassin's they Creed. Who's the Thanos. guy that sings Sicko Mode? <laughs> is it Travis Scott? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, yeah, he's in there, yeah, says Travis he had Scott. A whole, he had a whole concert in there. <laughs> which is <gasps> weird. I remember that the game awards which also it's almost time for the game awards again i'm very excited we're going to stream that again hopefully but uh remember last year in the game awards when there was an in-game concert for that one uh elf that came to our world yes ah oh, that was fun go watch that clip that was great uh, i gotta go fight i'm gonna watch that video again when we're done <laughs> elf that came to our world you mean wasn't it aurora yeah okay the elf. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the fake no, creature. I'm not wrong. I was perplexed. I was like, what? I mean, you might if you know if you know what we're talking about, you'd be like, what? Uh, or it'd be like they're poking fun. Not really. No, she just is not an elf. really. She it's was... her whole aesthetic, and honestly, I yeah. respect it. And I think it's beyond music. an aesthetic. I. <laughs> you think she escaped from the Feywild? She I do. came from the northern realms of Scandinavia, <laughs> an Did elf you... who was frozen in the ice for a thousand yeah. years. Go watch how she acted when she was being interviewed at the Game Awards next to some other game dev. She was tweaking. <laughs> she was being a little weird. Oh. oh. I yeah. thawed out of my eternal frozen slumber after Ragnarok and ended up in the modern world and now I've become a pop star? New anime? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My theory is that the electromagnetic waves that were happening there at the Game Fest, because, you know, there was definitely so many phones and internet and streaming and everything. That's like drugs for elves. That's my theory. That's why I think she was acting crazy. <laughs> I think she's just sliding by. Because, like, who would think that, right? So I think she's just, like, always high on electromagnetic waves. She can't help it because it's... She's yeah. An elf. But rather than being like, guys, help, I'm I'm currently, I'm always under the influence and I want to not be. Instead, she's just riding it <laughs> and like not saying anything. Just make it anyone. part of your image and you just skirt through. Mm -hmm. I remember when we were talking about her and none of us knew who she was. I knew and who then, she was. Well, but you, okay, you weren't here though when, when we were <laughs> talking about it. No, because it was like me, Taryn, Pertuse, it. It must have been sometime when you were already in Florida, but all of us had like met together to do something in person because no, Ashlyn we, was there. No, because remember we streamed it on the Discord, and so a bunch of us joined in and watched. Well, no, this was after though. This was oh after that yeah that I don't know um, because Ashlyn wasn't watching us uh, watching it with us, and we were describing Aurora <laughs> to each other, and Ashlyn went, "Are you guys talking about Aurora?" <laughs> and we were like, "You know who this is." This elf creature? She's a, musician. She's a really good musician. Oh, yeah. She, she has a contract with Disney. Oh. Because she sang on the Frozen 2 soundtrack. Star Wars is also in Fortnite. In mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks matter, for that little... <laughs> I just didn't expect the going back to Fortnite. <laughs> I did. Something just clicked. I don't know what happened there, but something just clicked. <laughs> it's the electrons. I'm not an elf! Oh. I want that as a sound bite. <laughs> Maybe I can find like a comprehensive list of all of the Fortnite crossovers. <laughs> Maybe, but I'm already over it. I'm not going to say it ever again. Uh, <laughs> crossovers chart? Why would it be a chart? Because there are other crossovers within the crossovers. This is a multi-level no. marketing scheme. Does a chart NFL. Even count for that? Okay, that makes sense. Uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet. Okay. Marshmallow. I don't know what that is. Stranger is that Things. A performer. Oh. Uh Air Jordan. John Wick, of course. Like just the shoes? Yeah. Uh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Major Laser. I feel like I do want to say I've never played Fortnite. I never will, uh, as we're Same. proceeding to talk about this. Borderlands 3. Ninja. That's so weird. This is such an that, odd yeah. DC. Okay, yeah. Punked? I don't the know show, I mean. the like show from the nineties like show. I don't, I don't. P U N K apostrophe D. Yeah, that's, that's the prank show. House party, the game. Yeah, the the um, Okay, I won't say it, but Tenet. wow. Okay. Uh, Tenet, like okay. <laughs> Rocket League, Ghostbusters, <laughs> God of War, Halo, Walking oh, Dead, God of War. Predator, GI Joe, Tron, Street Fighter, Alien. Tomb Raider. But they haven't got the VTubers yet, have they? I don't think so. <laughs> let me We're look. Safe. Let me let me make sure. Let me keep looking. Rick and Morty. I forgot about that. Uh, Everything has a Rick and Morty expansion. That's not anything. Time? Like Time Magazine. All capital letters. T -I -M -E. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> Balenciaga. Yeah. Dune. Uh, now I'm just looking for the ones that kind of stand this out. Such a weird assortment. Cobra How Kai. Get so many Disney Cobra properties. Cobra Kai. 
Uh, it's like small fry compared to the rest of these. <laughs> WWE. Okay, I mean, again, that's that. Ever, there's literally WWE and Scooby Doo crossovers. That's Goat yeah. Simulator Three. Iconic. Glad they're helping out small creators like them. Doom, Mr. Beast. Uh, Attack on Titan. Coachella. Uh, Futurama, that one's really recent. And Jujutsu Kaisen oh, yeah. and, and Terminator. Those are all really recent. And The Elder Scrolls. What the fuck? Yeah, just to name a few. There are some others in here, but they're like, you you would probably expect them to do a crossover, so I didn't say them. Can we get a Nat One podcast crossover on Fortnite? <laughs> I don't want one. I do. I'm good. Their very first crossover they ever did was the was the Marvel one. I remember because the Thanos Infinity Gauntlet thingy. Yep. Yeah, you could get the Infinity Gauntlet and it was Willie Strong. <laughs> don't even remind me about dedicated Wham. <laughs> That's kind of thing too. Um there was a small <clears throat> hometown like convention up here since last we met. Ooh. Uh, literally yesterday. Mm-hmm. Um, it was fun. It was interesting. It was not nearly as intense as the ones we've been to, as you might expect. But nonetheless, it was fun. There were a few kids that had uh, done their own outfits and stuff. And get this. All right. First off, Jordan, you'll be happy to know there was a, a mushroom person. <gasps> I love that. Uh, they had made their own hat. <laughs> oh, I love that so much. And for their performance, they danced while their friend, who was in a different costume, uh, performed on a flute. Interesting. I think it was a flute. Very cool. Yep. Uh, the one that killed me because of how funny it was, was there was a small boy cosplaying as the figure from Roblox's hit game, Doors. Huh? I know what some of those words mean individually, but together you just said nonsense. See, to me, I actually am up on all that because I am a Rogert enjoyer. <laughs> um, Taryn probably knows, don't you, Taryn? A little bit. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was just playing something from a Roblox game. But the boy had made his own helmet, which was cool. So, oh. you know, good for that. Uh, there were a few others. One person was play- was doing Sasha from Attack on Titan. Oh, wow. They had... I thought you were going to say from uh, the Magnus Archives. I'm disappointed. I'm letting that silence sink in there. Hmm? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Oh no. man, can you guys believe 2014 is only three months away? Dude, so true. Man, did you hear once that uh Chuck Norris beat up Justin Bieber? <laughs> that was 2014 era, right? That's, That's gonna be that is. is gonna be 10 years ago in oh uh, god, four I months. feel old. <laughs> yeah. Who asked you? Oh my god, it's 2014. You can either contribute to the podcast or you can't pick. (laughs) You can't have it both ways. Speak when spoken to, wretch. (laughs) Okay. He was in fact spoken to when I said that. True. Houseboy. (laughs) Houseboy. Oh, that's an old one. That's a good one, though. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'm very excited to be a player again. Hard shift. I'm very excited to be a player again, man. I'm excited to be a DM again. <laughs> I'm excited to play. Not that I, I I keep prefacing this. Not that I don't love my current D&D character. I'm just so excited to play something different. Mm-hmm. I love We've Arlo. I'm just so excited to not play Arlo. <laughs> We've been yes. going for a long time. I think we yes. all we want to get to that satisfying conclusion, right? We oh, want yeah. our we want our arcs to be finished. Yeah. We want it to be rounded out, and we want mm-hmm. the end of the story because we've been anticipating it. and We're like right on the cusp of it. So yes, we have been edging D anD D for a good while now, and it's time for the climax. That's, That's what I've been it. done saying. <laughs> I said it before he could. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm 
also very excited to go back into Vivia lore because I I miss it a little bit. Mm. Not a little bit, a lot bit. I it's <laughs> been a minute. There are active elements going on right now. I don't audience don't tell them this. I've been playing with other people in the Vivia world, <gasps> and so there's been th they know they know that you're I've cheating been on us. Uh. Yes, well, yeah, and I want to no, hear their I'm... campaign stories because I want to know how they're doing. I decided I wanted to copy Pertusit, and so I now have two D&D groups. <laughs> uh, I was just stuck on you saying active elements, and I started thinking about Genshin. Um... <laughs> Everybody has two D&D groups now, because I DM'd my first one shot a couple weeks ago, too. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> um, you saying Genshin wanted to make me say, did you watch the new Zenless Zone Zero trailer? Did you watch the new Project Mugen trailer? Yes. Yeah. Project Mugen looks interesting. Yeah, I'm here for both of them. I'll probably give them both a try. Uh, but uh, I Go might... watch the Project Mugen trailer, anyone listening right now. It's a weird... Hoyoverse has inspired a new kind of genre of gaming, I think. I, I think they're kind of just normalizing like anime style, 3D anime style games. Persona was kind of like the only mainline one before now. And I think Hoyoverse is making it a little bit more mainstream. Um, But yeah, they, they got their IP that they've had for a while. Zenless Zone Zero uh, is, is going to be coming out soon, I think. I didn't... Yay. Uh, but then also there was another one that's not a Hoyoverse called Project Mugen, which looks like Watch Dogs combined with Spider-Man combined with, Ooh. like, Honkai? It was, it's weird. It was weird. The, the thing that caught my attention the most was, like, the weird Spider-Man grapple stuff that they were mm -hmm. doing between all the buildings. Because I was like, what the heck? Same. I don't know, though. Jordan, what are your thoughts on, like urban dystopia um i think that it's interesting i mean you i define like what you what you're talking about like urban dystopia like i know it like urban fantasy i'm well acquainted with but kind of kind of like a, a cyberpunk type deal kind of it just takes place in a big city but mm. it's like overrun with like robots and monsters and baddies it's kind of I like Fallout, like but in a okay. in New York City. <laughs> Interesting. And it's still just as populated as New York City, but now yeah. just with malicious actors. Yeah. <laughs> or more malicious actors, I should say. And it's an Cap interesting state. <laughs> I think it's just, it's it, ugh, I can't my brain is still soup. I think it's an interesting setting for a story. <laughs> what was that little shuffle you were doing? I, was, I don't know. <laughs> it's his um, response to me saying my brain is soup. <laughs> I kind of um, soup dance. I don't like urban environments so much, though. I don't. I don't like weird urban. I'll take I modern, like normal it. urban. I don't like the weird urban. Freaks me out. <laughs> I am intrigued by it, and again, I'm torn because I'm like, I'm already playing Star Rail. I'm already playing Genshin. Can I do three, or am I gonna play this and then have to make a choice? <laughs> Maybe I don't know which game I don't want to play anymore. Is it Do going that. to be free to play? Is the question. Project Mugen. Who knows? Zen with Zone Zero, probably. Because Zen with Zone Zero, probably. If not, then I'm gonna be like mega shocked because that means it's probably not gonna be a gotcha game, uh, which mm -hmm. I think it is a gotcha game. So it's probably gonna be free. I may have to look at it. I may. That one may break me. That. One. <laughs> And then uh, also get Tower of Fantasy, and then you can go for five there is daily also, gotcha games. There's also that other one that we saw at last year's um, game game. What was it? Game Awards? Yeah, that they revealed that was called like Blue something, um, and it looked very. It was like a big open world anime game, but they were like, "Oh, oh. It's, an, it's an RPG." So it kind of looked like a Xenoblade. Yes, it was like Xenoblade meets Genshin, kind of almost. Yeah. Um, and that one's also should be coming. I think they've dropped another trailer for that recently as well. So that's another one of those, like just like how FromSoft has, like they did Souls like they made Souls like. There's gonna be Genshin likes now, or I guess just like Hoyo likes. I guess maybe. 
I don't know though. I, I'm a little feared. I think that uh, despite them being more frequent, I think there's still going to be just a large portion of the gaming community that's like because it looks like Genshin, it's bad. <laughs> And Probably, yeah. They're just gonna be like, "Oh, it's bad. You're bad but if you also, like it." There is a large portion of the gaming community that's like, "Oh, because it's like Souls, it's good." <laughs> there, because there are several Souls-like games that are very bad. Not the Dark Souls games themselves. The ones made by FromSoft are all good for the most part. <laughs> Some people have disagreeing opinions, but there are Souls-like games that people have made that are bad. <laughs> what? Tell me, you watch Iron Pineapple without telling me? What's that one? That's like it's like you're a robot man. Or something like you've been partially replaced. It came out a long time ago. It was bad though. It was bad. It was bad. Uh, so like... Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> <laughs> Lies they, of they PP. Replace parts of you with robot. What? What? <laughs> Taryn, you're either Taryn. You need to say these not. things so people can have context to why we say <laughs> what to you. So th- there's a free souls like on Steam right now that's called Lies of Penguin 2. <laughs> it is okay. one of the greatest games that's ever been made. You say this about Berg. You <laughs> Well, that's just true. Berg is a masterpiece. Uh, the Penguin game 2 Lies of Penguin. Yes. <laughs> Such a banger. What the fuck? It's it's pretty self-explanatory. It's what you would expect. It's got actually, very positive reviews. Actually, maybe not. Well, it, also, like. it also only has 179 reviews. Uh-huh. And? Whatever happened to the game that was new Bioshock, but uh, it, uh, there was a sexy robot lady. Oh, Ironheart? Uh, or, yeah. Uh, Atomic Heart. Atomic yeah, that Heart. one. That's yeah, what, what happened yeah, Ironheart it? is not it's a Marvel property. Yeah, I said that. It was thing. pretty good. I think from from what yeah, people said. Yeah, I I've played a little bit of it and it was pretty solid. Yeah, people said it was like an eight out of ten. I saw like fifty different content creators making one episode on it and then never another, and I was like, "What happened?" <laughs> yeah, there there wasn't a lot. It was a very it was a single player story focused game, so it was kind of just like one and done. <laughs> Honestly, let's play. Fun. The death of the let's play has been a disaster for the YouTube. Uh... Don't tell them that I do the. <laughs> Against my better judgment. Well, I'm saying it's bad. I'm saying the death of the Let's Play is bad. We should have them still. It's like the basis of yeah. YouTube. The Let's Play uh-huh. format should be back and bring bring it back. Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, get on it. That's your job. You <laughs> made those. It's like, it used to be where like people would do episode-based content. And I like that because it's it's like watching a show, right? I'm like, oh yeah. my gosh. I got all yeah. But anymore, it's all in one self-contained video, which are really good viewing experiences, and it's like a movie. I'm like, oh, I can just watch it once, and I'll be done forever. And they're usually really well edited and everything, but it's like, what do I do then? I gotta <laughs> find something else. But... Indie Mouse kind of pioneered. The Indie Mouse and Maxor are both, like, big. They, they do it in one sitting. They do a big, long, really well-edited video. And then they get all the information across, and they don't need to do anything more than that. Yeah. I unless it's like a sad. unless it's like a big game, like the ones Maxor does sometimes, where he does like two or three parts. Have you Thanks. watched any interviews he's done with people like outside of being an editor? No, I'm. He is actually huge... insane. Oh. <laughs> like he doesn't sleep. Uh, like, he that's ha- the he, trademark of an editor, honestly. <laughs> he has like schizophrenic dreams that have this woman who constantly tries to kill him in it. Oh, um, he should meet Shondo, I think. <laughs> well, funnily enough, the uh, the interview that I, I watched was him doing an interview with a VTuber. So uh-huh. he's in that closer. sphere, he's in that circle already. I haven't told Jordan the pillow story. Oh, oh, boy. I'm scared. Jordan, if you had to guess what my pillow story is about to be about, why, 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 I want you to construct... Construct a narrative about this about this pillow story without knowing any context. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming I'm assuming it involves some kind of a uh, novelty pillowcase on a choice pillow or two. Yeah. That's... Keep going. I, I want the whole story. I. That's as far as I'm going. Dang. <laughs> I'm not I'm some villain. <laughs> I did it because I was in love. No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> That's where I was worried it was heading. No. <laughs> Got a new pillowcase. 
Uh-huh. I got a new Doki Makra pillowcase. I'm not ashamed to admit it. And I it, it didn't come with a pillow. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to try and get it. So I went to that one con. I went to Matsuri Con a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. And there was a guy selling Doki Makras. But he was like, we don't have the pillows. You have to get those off of Amazon. And he told me where to get it. So I go to the Amazon store and I find it. And one late night after I get my paycheck, finally, I'm like, oh, I'm going to buy this. So I look at it and I look at the measurements for my pillowcase. I look at the measurements for the pillows. And there's like four options. And I'm looking at them and I'm like, hmm, hmm. And I'm looking at the second biggest one and I'm like, well, I can't get this one because it's still going to be too small. It won't fit. I need to get the one that's the biggest because it has to be bigger than the pillowcase or else it won't fit. That's not how pillowcases work. <laughs> so I order the new, the big pillow. God damn it. <laughs> and the next morning I wake up and I'm like, that's not how pillows work. No, it's not. <laughs> and I try to cancel my order and it's too late. <laughs> and so... I had to wait for my pillow to get here, and now I have to send it back. <laughs> Did you at least fun. try to see if it would fit? <laughs> no, because I'm almost, we looked at the measurements, and it was going to be eight inches too large. Tuesdays. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, okay? I don't know. Well, now you know. <laughs> I'm waiting for this story to continue to develop, because I didn't want to take it to a uh, post office, because I was too lazy. So instead, I paid for a thing where a delivery guy is supposed to show up, slap a sticker on it, and take it, right? Mm-hmm. Basically, express stuff. Um, <laughs> he shows up. He has a sack. The pillow won't fit in the sack. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just waiting for the story to get super bureaucrat mode where it's going to be like, I paid for this. I'm going to be there. The guy's going to show up. Or the guy's going to like not ever knock or anything. He's not going to take it. I'm going to have to take it to the post office. It's going to mm-hmm. get mixed up in the mail. And three months from now, I'm going to get my refund. Yeah. That's what I'm waiting for. So, and will so you ever tuned. get a properly sized pillow? Not until I get my refund. <laughs> I'm waiting, man. That was a lot of money. There was like an $80 discrepancy between the large pillow and the medium pillow. Yeah, wasn't it like $150? $130. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like 160 centimeters by, or no, it was like 140 centimeters by 60 centimeters. I have no reference for how large that Me is. Me neither. That's why I was so confused. How how big is it compared to like a 40 inch tall child? That's my reference for all One things second. measurement. It it's makes like sense with my job that I'm not size. sharing. I'm, I'm checking. It's so like it was four one, it was 40 inch children. Centimeters? Yeah, it's four 40 in- centimeter children. No. 40 inch, not centimeter. Okay. Okay. Produce it. Okay. It was 160 uh-huh. centimeters. I, I think it was 140. 140 centimeters. Yeah, that was the length. Yeah, so it's that is, it is 55 three... inches. Yeah, so it's just about the size of a 40 inch child. <laughs> that's a little bit over the size yeah, of a, a 40 bit. inch child. I was gonna a say little bit, over, but it's a that's close. over a foot taller, Taryn. And I'm gonna believe what I'm gonna say, feet. but that that pillow is tall enough. All right, watch out, ready. <laughs> what? That's I put that. No, I put that in there in the sound wave, so you knew where to bleep it later. Oh. I'm I'm gonna know where to bleep it because I'm gonna listen back to it and hear me say no. I'm what gonna bleep it. If you're this. not paying attention and then you hear Pertusa go, oh yeah, see? and then and then you are like, oh whoa, that's yeah, yeah, I yeah. have to do it again because I don't think that it actually peaked enough. To... Oh okay okay. <laughs> now it just okay, cut I out. Can, I can I can try it. I can try it. <laughs> okay, okay. No, that one did too. No, you, know, you guys are just. Oh God! Did it? Did mine not peak either? Did mine not? I didn't did hear you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Have peak protection in Zoom, and that's the issue. <laughs> it's eleven fifty-five at night in my dorm <laughs> room, and there are people in this hall that are just hearing me go. Oh, I know. Oh. I have roommates, and they're not listening to me do this. I'm doing fine. You're doing <laughs> great. TJ knows the drill. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I have never right gotten now, so a single fine. noise complaint since my since two years ago. I only have ever gotten one. <laughs> the night's the night, boyo. <laughs> I never had one, but also I wasn't in college for two I, years. <laughs> I got some routinely, mostly because I would have been on Discord with you, Yahoos. Oh. I've never gotten a noise complaint, so. 
I think it might just be the male single dorm thing because they're all like, I don't care. I, <laughs> I think it's it it male noise, male dorms in general. True. Could you, yeah, uh, Taryn, no, I agree though, Taryn. Could you, uh, you're being, you're being a little loud over there. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You've gotten two noise complaints now, bucko. More than me. More than me. I win. Uh, Pertuse it, I'm going to need you to bring it down. No. <laughs> you can, can do, do that? that. That's an option. <laughs> Go talk to your RA. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that'd be a really funny joke. Honestly, honestly, if anyone wants to do it, I'll give you my personal cell phone number uh, with the caveat, with the caveat that you have to go up to your RA or your HOA leader or whatever and be like, can you please tell this person to quiet down? And when I hear that code phrase, I'm just going to start screaming through the phone. So what you're telling me is, is I could randomly call you at some time <laughs> and like a sleeper agent, if I say the phrase, could you tell this person to quiet down? So you long as I'm not at work, screaming. yeah. You're going to start. What if you screaming. are at work? Well, then he's not going to, he just said, he just said, Jordan, so long he's as he's not at work. quietly. Is, is what, I probably won't answer. <laughs> uh, it's like what uh, some bosses will say, like uh, if they're leaving the building, they'll be like, if you guys have an emergency, don't. It's like, if you guys have a problem and you need to call me while I'm at work, don't. <laughs> Same, my phone is off when I'm at work. My phone's on. I will just, I'll do that thing. I will stare at it and smile while I watch it go to voicemail. You can call me at work. I'll I don't get do fired much. if you call me at work. Nothing will probably happen to me. I just have a very strong sense of obligation and duty. <laughs> I was trying. I was trying to. Me. I was trying to burp, but it didn't come out as a burp. It just came out as a noise. Speaking of Attack on Titan, uh, uh, I was thinking of something you said like probably thirty minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, the voice actor for Nubalet from Genshin Impact is in Japanese dub is uh, Levi. Oh. Yeah. Good for you, Levi. Yeah. I knew that joke was coming. <clears throat> I haven't I haven't spoken to him in Genshin yet, I don't know. And is Gucci in Fortnite? <laughs> no, no Gucci yet. I am needed. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that the end? How long have we been recording for? Is that, I'm like gonna say that's minutes? probably the end. Thankfully like we two have... minutes. Two whole minutes. Hey, we hope you enjoyed the episode you just listened to. If you really like our content, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on YouTube, and look for us on Spotify. If you'd like to see us continuing to do more fun projects in the future, consider supporting us on Patreon. You can find our page linked in the description above all of our other social media links. And finally, if you'd like to keep up with the zany shenanigans of our lives and check out some more skit-based content and things like that, check us out on Twitter and TikTok. Links in the description. And hey, thanks. <laughs>